I am a painter, but my project is really centering around sculpture. I'm really interested in the women who, the women sculptors who were associated with Rodin. Women in late 19th, early 20th century Paris who came to study with Rodin or who hung about um, and uh, socialised with him in some cases or um, the women who worked in his studio, you know, actually as his studio assistant. There were loads. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm getting to understand is that um, despite the fact he's had a bad press, Rodin did take women sculptors seriously. And obviously he was the most celebrated artist of the time, so you would want to come and be associated with him. But it's been very interesting sort of un uncovering those stories. What I've been doing recently is making painting, making paintings from sculptures. So I've been interested in a very particular kind of trope in portrait sculpture of the woman who looks down or looks away. And so I was quite interested in that contemplative moment of a woman by herself. So at the moment I'm gathering source material for um, a series of paintings that I'll be doing. And this time instead of making paintings from um, sculptures by men, it will be sculptures by women. There are a lot of women or not a lot, but there were many women who had a reputation at the time, were making a living um, out of the, their work, but it's very hard to find their work now. Much of it is probably dispersed into private collections. A lot of the more fragile stuff probably doesn't exist. Um, so there is a bit of detective work going on. Um, so there's a sense, I think, in which if I'm painting from documentary images of sculptures that may no longer exist, I feel like I'm retrieving them. My research really isn't about Rodin. It's about what it was like to be a, a woman artist of that time and the kinds of choices and the kinds of sacrifices and the kinds of, um, I guess, the imperatives, you know, what's really important for them. Um, is, is really what I'm trying to draw out of this, of this research. It works for lots of different people, so it's a nice browsing library. So if you're just generally interested in art, they, you know, they've got publications, uh, there's an art gallery downstairs, you know, you can come and just browse through and see what the latest um, books are. And you've got the really knowledgeable librarian so if you don't know how to find stuff, they're going to they're gonna be able to show you. So that's, that's always a big bonus.